Hi, I'm Roger Altman and this is my shop. What we're going to talk about today is uh, shop storage. Um, I have a small shop area as uh, you may have seen if you watch any of my previous videos. What I'm going to talk about here are the uh, wall cabinets. So years ago when we first built this building I had pegboard on this wall over here and of course that eventually collects just all kinds of stuff. And here you can see where I had partially started to clear it off before I decided to take a picture. My intent on putting some cabinets up. And on this side over here I had racks of hardware. I still have those racks. They've just been relocated. But it was a very inefficient use of space. So when I was thinking about cabinets I didn't really want to lose my pegboard space. So why not combine the two? I don't remember exactly where I got this idea from. It's a hybrid of maybe some other things I've seen over the years. But what this is, is a rail and style door. And it's built with pegboard in the center instead of a hardboard. That way you can still hang stuff on it. As you can see here, I've got a lot of my nailers on this one. And I've got a few hand tools and stuff over here. But what's nice about this thing is you still have storage inside. This particular one happens to be for my spray paints and uh, some of my wood finishes. But, uh, I kind of give you an idea. I'm not going to give any dimensions or anything here because everybody's uh, shop is going to be different. Uh, these are 12 inches deep. Uh, I have not yet done the base cabinets. I'll do a shot of what's down below here soon. Uh, originally built this back in, I think it was about 98. Yeah, about 1997, 1998, and I just needed a, a bench to work on because uh, we were in the process of building a house, which is on the same property here. But we built this garage with a two-bedroom loft above it first, then moved into that while we built our house. So what I have here is kind of what's left over from way back in the day. Uh, getting back to these cabinets, I uh, kind of build them around some duct work. I, I have a corner cabinet here that's kind of blind. And I use that for storing paper towels and such in back in the corner. And you know, the little humidity here, that door was stuck, but I hadn't had that one open in a while. At any rate, uh, that's just a little bit of uh, thoughts on your storage solution possibly and uh, incidentally while I'm right here you always see me wearing a sweatshirt in here or something here's a reason why this is a little thermometer that's just stuck in the pegboard and it's 55 degrees in here um, yeah I probably could have it warmer but there's no point in uh, getting everything all that warm I'll have plenty of time this summer to uh, enjoy the heat now I'll uh, reposition the camera and I'll show you another other idea that I had Okay, this area right here, um, what this is, cabinet is now, well, it's actually attached to the wall. What we have down here below is what they call a flat file. It was uh, used to store blueprints in so they'd be flat. And you could just pull out the drawer and you could thumb through this. It's uh, about five feet tall and it's almost four feet wide. I use it for tool storage. We got this uh, from a construction site when they were closing up and the very end and we're just trying to get rid of a lot of stuff and this is one of the things I got it it's extremely heavy it's well built got a visitor there it's uh it's well built it's extremely heavy and I use it to store you probably can't see what's in there but I've got everything labeled on the front because I am getting old and I forget where I put things and it's also helpful if the wife would happen to need a tool or something she can come out and I've got magnetic stickers and other labels on all the drawers. So that's a storage solution for a lot of small item sockets and wrenches and drill bits and knives and blades and just all the different little doodads that you accumulate. Now above this I used to have a wire rack that sat on here that as you can see from this picture that it accumulated just all kinds of stuff and everything would get thrown up there and after years and years and years I decided it was time to get rid of that shelf 
and go along with the other concept of having cabinets here with a pegboard front to double the storage space. Well, I take, decided to take that one step further and to triple that storage space. So what I did was when I built these doors, I built them a little extra thick. And there's actually a rack on the inside. And in this rack, I can hold my uh, bottles of chalk for chalk lines or cans of lubricants and those type of things. Uh, this is a little disorganized right now. I just threw a bunch of stuff in there to get it out of the way as I work towards getting everything else reorganized. But that was uh, pretty much step two. Now I'll go on and I'll show you what step three was. Okay, my next step in trying to get things a little bit better organized was this area up here. And yeah, I know that cupboard door is a little crooked. It took a... I wasn't watching what I was doing when it was open and I was going up the ladder and smacked pretty good. So uh, I got to straighten that one out at some point. But anyway, up here along the top used to be a uh, set of shelf brackets with what they call a ladder pick sitting on top of it, which basically made a shelf. Of course, that being a flat surface and a shelf, it accumulated just all kinds of junk, as you can see in this picture here. Well, I decided I needed to do away with that, so I built these uh, cabinets up here. These are custom built for the space that was allowed up there. And within these, I have, uh, for example, in this one here, I have my manuals for uh, some of our power equipment, lawn equipment, uh, some of the power tools, uh, a chamois for when I do decide to wash the truck. And, you know, moving down the line, there's, you know, automotive things, you know, uh, rain axe and grease and oils and that type of thing. It gives me a good place to store all that stuff, and it's, it's a lot neater than it used to be. Uh, I didn't do pegboard on those because that being so high, that wouldn't be very practical. But uh, that was step two. No, well, I guess that was step three. Now I'm going on to what my step four project was for trying to get this small shop organized. Okay, back in this area, this was my uh, step four in the process of trying to get a little bit better organized and better utilized space. The uh, racks that used to be on the wall over here, where are now cabinets, are now mounted on this wall back here. Uh, right here is a door. This goes upstairs to the, the two-bedroom loft. Uh, that's one of the, there's also an outside entrance. Uh, so this was basically wasted space back here. And, they just had a whole bunch of stuff stacked in here and accumulated. Now you couldn't even open the door most of the time. There was so much stuff sitting here. So all these racks that were on here, and these are real nice little tip-out racks with hardware in. You can see in them. Uh, these came out of a defunct place called Servalite, where they used to, uh, well, they sold hardware and O-rings and all the little doodads. So I was able to buy these racks for a couple bucks a, a piece, and I made a, this goes floor to ceiling. But it's a nice little storage rack, it's out of the way, I can still open the door all the way. Then for my glue clamps, and I don't have them all up here right now because I've got a project of gluing up. Built this rack up here, uh, it hangs on the wall, I'm able to uh, put most of my glue clamps in there, of course I've got more than I have storage space for, but you can never have too many clamps either. I've also made a, a little spot back here where I can hang my uh, levels so I don't have to uh, have them on the, they used to hang on the pegboard and horizontally and then up high and they were hard to get to. Now they're easy to get in and out of and I also keep my crosscut sled back in this corner. Uh, my Craig jig and the pocket screws and uh, my drywall T-square and all that kind of stuff. And over on this wall over here, uh, there's a lot of plumbing over here for a uh, fertilizer injector for our greenhouses. It's this blue thing you see up here. I've got all this horizontal pipe. Um, it's insulated, but it's also a good place to uh, hang all my little clamps. Hang on there just perfect. They're out of the way and not in the way of anything. So. Uh, also back in this corner is my electric panel, and no, it's not blocked. I can get to it real easy. So that was uh, my step four of trying to get a little bit better organized and a uh, better utilized space. Of course, as you've seen in uh, some other videos, 
pretty much everything I have has to be on wheels because I'm in such a small area. And I'm going to keep with that. I'm working on a new stand for this drill press here. And I think I'll be able to incorporate the uh, new Triton spindle uh, sander on that cart as well. Uh, my next step will be here sometime in the future when time allows is the lower part of the bench on this side. Right now underneath there are some uh, inexpensive plastic rubber made cabinets. Uh, they work great until you put something in them. Once you put something in them you get some weight in them. Uh, they sag and they warp and the doors don't stay shut and I have to use that sucks to keep them shut and it doesn't really utilize the space well. I've got an air compressor underneath there that I'm going to build a doghouse, move in outside behind this wall and just pipe the air in. That should give me uh, cabinets all the way around in an L shape and I'll be able to have a little bit better bench than the uh, 27 year old beat up 3 quarter inch particle board that's on there now. So those are my uh, thoughts on some storage. I hope you got some uh, ideas out of this. Maybe it'll uh, solve a problem for your space. I wish I had more space, but if you don't, need to make the best of what I got. Uh, if you like this video, we appreciate getting a thumbs up. It helps our YouTube ratings. Of course, we're always looking for subscribers. If you have some ideas, uh, feel free to post them in the comments below. I, I do read comments, and I will uh, also respond to those that are legitimate. Spam, I don't respond to. Uh, otherwise... Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.